Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown battles. We made this Cypher team that was a little different, admittedly, but we made this NU Cypher team yesterday in the team building episode, which is linked down below if you have not seen it yet. And today... Yeah. 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 We're gonna go. We're gonna look for some NU battles. NU is a tier which I do not use, like, ever. I am seeing some weird Pokemon on his team. That's for certain. I... I guess I lead with, um, Darude. And set Stealth Rocks. I'm not really afraid of anything with Darude. I guess I'm afraid of Cradilly. Cradilly is the scariest Pokemon against me, but Kling Clang can kind of deal with that. Ferroseed. I'm not too annoyed about that. I can I can sell my Stealth Rocks. We're gonna trade Rocks here. He's gonna go for Spikes. Okay, we can go for Earthquake. Wish I was running more attack investment right now. I could even swap into Mufasa if I really wanted to. But honestly, I mean, I have the Rapid Spin. In fact, I'm gonna go for the Rapid Spin just in case. He, yeah, see? Bye, bye Spikes. Spikes gone. So let's see how he decides to deal with that. I could go for the Stone Edge, but I, I didn't. He has Explosion. Well, I mean, at the end of that, he's lost one Pokemon, I've got my rocks up, and I've still got half my health. So it's not the end of the world. I'm physically defensive, and a Stone Edge will kill. Do we need this thing for anything? We could use it for Regirock, but against Regirock we do have options. We have patches. I think we Stone Edge. Now as long as this lands, Dead Swallow. Okay, this is a good start. This is a great start. Sandslash, with the red spikes putting in the finest of work right here. I really do love this Pokemon. Do we outspeed to... I think we outspeed. I honestly think we... Yep, eat an Earthquake. Train Punch doesn't kill... <laughs> Train Punch does nothing! We can Earthquake again! <laughs> Train Punch... Oh, he got the crit. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's not the end of the world at all. Um, we, we we have to go into patches. I wanted to go into Kling Clang and try and set up a gear grind, but a drain punch will probably hurt, so that's probably not the smartest idea. A scald will hurt anything. Cradilly might be Storm Drain. I'm guessing you're Storm Drain. Yep. Well, crap. Uh, we definitely need to Toxic you before we do anything else. Because that thing is this- yeah, see, look at that, he gets another crit. Patches, why are you so problematic right now? <laughs> That's the best way I can think to say it. Um, do we go into Clunk? I think we go into Clunk. I say Clunk. The air balloon is unfortunately going to go, but we... He doesn't have anything that can kill me. Because he's clearly special. Does Cradilly get earth power? I don't think it does. Rock slide. We can gear grind again. Sorry, shift gear. We can shift gear again, and we will shift gear again. Because if his... Kling Clang wants to come in against me, I want to make sure that I am doing enough damage to it, because I don't have anything to hit it for... As I don't... F oh, I do have wild, wild Charge to hit it for neutral. That is the best I have, sadly. Now, a Gear Grind should definitely kill this thing, because I'm at double attack, it's a 100 base power move. That would have killed without me even setting up. Never mind. <laughs> But we are in a good position right here. Ordino, if you're Mega, you're weak to steel, so, uh, gear grind. Plus it's stab, so it goes to 150. Because it hits twice. Yeah, you're dead. Protect, no, 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 you're dead. 
you're dead. You're so dead. Why would you even Mega Evolve? That's just gonna make you weak to... I don't understand. Get, get wrecked. <laughs> get completely wrecked. That did some serious damage, actually. And he goes into his Kling Clang. Now, do we Wild Charge, or do we Gear Grind? Gear Grind is only 15 base power less than Wild Charge, and I don't take Recoil, so we Gear Grind. Doesn't do much at all. He's also gonna Gear Grind. <laughs> the Gear Grind battles begin. I'm going for it again. And now I think I'm going to Wild Charge, because I don't think the Recoil will kill me, and it, it doesn't matter at this point. Wild Charge will kill, 100% accuracy, I'm going to keep alive, he'll go into Regirock, Regirock will then die to a Gear Grind, this all went well. This was a setup and sweep simple battle. No Cypher, no Alexia, no Mufasa. Bam. That was good. That was a good battle. That was an easy battle. I like that. I see Electivire and Magmortar, and whenever they're on the same team, I, I always question it. I, I find it weird. I find it weird that they're both NU. I mean, they're good Pokemon. Yeah, oh well. I could see Crustle leading for certain. But he might expect... He might lead Gorobis. If I'm expecting either Gorobis or Crustle, the smart play would to be to go to something like Clunk. Clunk's only issue is Magmortar. Well, we'll start with Clunk. So he does lead with Crustle. That was what I really thought he was going to lead with. Okay, we're shift gearing. This might be a terrible idea. He might immediately go into Magmortar, but it's a risk I'm willing to take at this point because Patches can quite easily deal with Magmortar in a 1v1 if it has to. Although he would most likely go straight out into Lilligan. He stays in. Here we go. It begins. He sets up the Stealth Rock. Okay. We Gear Grind. That's a dead Crustle. <laughs> so now we're at plus one attack, plus two speed. Goes into Gorobis. We have Wild Charge. I'm going for the Wild Charge. That's a dead Gorobis. I wasn't expecting that to one-shot. And Scarfed Dick forfeits. Words I never thought I'd say. Damn. <laughs> Next battle, Kling Clang putting in the finest of work. Would just like to state, I said in the team builder to replace it with like a dark type or a fairy type. No, the Kling Clang is the power. Keep the Kling Clang and name it Clunk. That simple. So far, this has been going great. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Just, yes, and you. It's, it's, this is going to be my new tier, guys. This, I didn't think this was the best team at all. I want to use Cypher. Cypher's meant to be the star. Or even Alexia. Just let me all move faster. I haven't used any of those for yet. Are we going to find a battle? Are we not? Okay, we are. Oh, we see he has a Persian. He has a Pyro and a Zangus. Do I have any fighting stab? I don't, I don't have any fighting moves. Oh no! I see a Vivion, and that scares me. Vivion scares me a lot. Vivion makes me think it's going to be the lead. That or it's going to be Persian. So I'm going to lead off with Clunk again. Okay, we resist the normal, so that's fine. Last time, shift gear worked really well, so I'm going to shift gear again. Okay, we lose our air balloon, so we might go into Quagsire. Yep, Swagsire. Ah, oh. <sighs> dear. I really don't think I can stay in on this. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure this is where I go into Alexia, and I start to... Yeah, this is where I go into Alexia. Go for the Earthquake. Good. Now, we get a free Calm Mind. This is where things get interesting. 
because we double our special attack and special defense. He has toxic. Crap. <laughs> Do we Carmine again? Carmine again is pointless. We can just Giga Drain. That didn't one shot? I I was expecting a one shot. I'll be honest. I thought it was gonna one shot. We'll Giga Drain again, because if we don't, we could honestly die. Goes out into murder the Vivion. Do we outspeed Vivion? We do. You will die to this air slash. Um. Bad use of Vivion. Okay. Dead fetus. The Mashana. Dead feet. Really, dude? Dead fetus? Really? Why am I taking so much toxic damage? What the hell? I felt like I took a lot of toxic damage very quickly. Huh. Okay. I think this is where I go out into... He won't have a rock type move, that's for certain. So I guess this is where I sword stance. So I should be able to take any one hit, that's for certain. Okay. Do we outspeed? He outspeeds by one point. I can't, I can't do it. I can't risk it. We go into patches. Sleep Fire Blast. That would have destroyed me. Life Orb? I would have been so gone. Does Quagsire get Water Absorb? I kind of want to Volt Switch. But that would be pointless if the Quagsire came out. Does Quagsire get Water Absorb? I feel like it does. We're going for Scald. Do you get War Absorb? No. Okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, I was scared. I was scared. Murder the Vivion comes back out, and we will Volt Switch, and Sleep Powder was obvious. Sleep Powder was really, really obvious. But Mufasa outspeeds. Unless he's Quiver Danced. Okay, he quiver dances, but he can't put me to sleep because sleep cores as patches of sleep. So that means that we can flamethrower reasonably happily, other than if his pyro comes out. But his pyro is... Whoa! That did damage! Okay! Whoa there! What the hell? Holy crap! Uh, if we shift gear, we will not become faster. Okay, wild charge. Strongest move we have. Kill it. Good. Well, that that was a waste of a pyro for certain. Definitely a waste of a pyro. 100% waste of a pyro. We go into Patches again. Patches lives it nice and easily because Patches is a monster and Skald hits everything for neutral or better. Can we, can we wake up, please? Can we please wake up. Patches, I need you to wake up for me, buddy. Good. Burn. Burn. Oh, that burn. Oh, here, here we go. Here comes the fret. I've... I, I, I... Yeah, see, I know the power of this thing. This thing is strong. This is one of the strongest Pokemon, in my opinion. I really want to go out into Cypher right now. But as long as Pyro is there, I can't. I can't do it as long as Pyro is there. We have to kill this thing. And crit. Crit mad. Crit really mad. Crit definitely mad. That's annoying. And we're left with Cypher. Who, honestly, I don't think can win this. We will go for the knockoff. We eat that up. We ate that hit. If he goes out into any... Yeah, I was really hoping he wouldn't do that, buddy. <laughs> um, we'll go for the knockoff. He does outspeed. He burns me.
We're gonna have to roast, because just in case we live. Yeah. Well, crit mad. Crit's mad. Crit's mad. I'm kind of salty. Crit's mad. We'll go for one more battle. We see Ordino, Ferroseed. We've seen two Ferroseeds. Is it really that good? Eviolite, Ferroseed? I guess so. Uh, I could see either Mesprit leading off or Ferroseed. I don't- or Go-Go. I think we lead with Mufasa. I don't see anything that really upsets Mufasa other than Hitmonchan. And I don't see Hitmonchan as like... I know nothing. <laughs> I am a fool. I'm going straight into Alexia. Go for the fighting move. Show me it. Show me the close combat. So I fought. Life Orb? That's kind of terrifying. I want Calm Mind. I'm Calm Minding. Here's Knockoff. It's Ice Punch. What is the point? What am I doing? I'm playing like crap. God damn, this is going terribly. I don't know what to do. I... I didn't... I... Uh, uh. We set up rocks. There's so much. He is at half health and I can live anything. I have to Earthquake. Going into Mesper, it seems like a really obvious choice for him, but I have to Earthquake because I can't. Pharisee. Okay. Okay. Going straight into Mufasa. Because honestly, that thing sets up spikes, stealth rocks, etc., leech seed, all of the above. I really want to hyper voice. Really want a hyper voice. I feel the Magmortar. I feel the Magmortar. I'm hyper voicing. I'm honestly hyper voicing. If this was the wrong play, GG. Mufasa was meant to be a male. Mufasa's a female, because I can tell because of uh, the, the main is different. Um, whoops. <laughs> um. Pretty sure I made you male, but okay. Maybe I didn't. Does that mean Alexia the Swoobat is probably male? That'd be a little weird. Scott's probably a female. Whoops. Oh, I messed up. Come on. I mean, Choice Specs Hyper Voice should do reasonable damage anyway. Right? Maybe? Oh, I don't know enough about these Pokemon. And I really, really hate the fact that Zangus crit me with a facade. I hate that so much. I could have won if it wasn't for that crit. That crit single-handedly screwed me over. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry that this guy, he looks like he's just walked away from his computer, you know, he's just chilling, he's gone for a walk about town, he's having fun, he's sitting on a bench now, feeding some pigeons, he's having a great time, he's just eating the pigeon alive, you know, he's he's now throwing up the pigeon, he's, he's, he's pretty messed up actually, this guy, you know, he just wants to free the pand ass, pand ass. He wants to free the panda's ass. Hmm, interesting. I can get on board with that movement. Free the panda's ass. Let's go. Start a new movement. But no, he's he's just wasting time. Do I have to add the rage quit counter in this episode? Wait, wasn't? Did we already have a rage quit? Yeah, the second battle was a rage quit. Well, I already have to add the rage quit counter. So it doesn't matter if there's two. Come on, rage quit, buddy. Rage quit. Are you running the timer with your shitey little Pharisee? If after all this, he swaps out into Magmortar, I'm gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> oh, he's disconnected. Well. <laughs> um. <laughs> and his name has changed to Player One. I'm pretty sure this is a win. We'll wait for the timer anyway, but... 
GG, dude. GG. Oh, oh, he's joined again. Oh, shit. He's actually still playing. <laughs> he's done with the pigeons. He's freed the pandas. He's ready to come back. He has 10 seconds left. I'm getting my win, dude. I want my win. If you've honestly waited to the last second, I'm... Okay. Okay. We win. Do we have enough time for one more battle? It's been 20 minutes. Nope. I think I'm going to call it here. So... Cypher was probably the worst member of this team. <laughs> and considering it was the Pokemon I based it around, it honestly, it didn't get a chance to shine. I may bring this team back. I may do Cypher another day. I'm, I may do Scizor for vengeance, but Cypher's typing is awkward to work around. But if you have enjoyed this, please leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, favorite the video, share the video, there's tons of things you can do. But without further ado, bye.